we're just now saying goodbye to the National Trust campsite at Dungeon Gill. Great Landale National Trust. Very nice it is too, great facilities. Fantastic shower, and he took my skin off, it's that powerful. Got another lovely day. We had a bit of rain in the night, which didn't bother us at all. We were all safely packed up in our tents. So we're all good to go. Well, another cracking day. And we're really looking forward to bashing on. How you feel, Bragger? Yeah, very good day four. And uh, now we've got the rain out of the way. But uh, looking forward to a lovely day going over the top and dropping down the other side into Borrowdale. Looking forward to that immensely. So uh, I think all our legs are strengthened now and uh, we're ready for the last four longings. Certainly are. And that'll get us up to Carlisle. Hopefully we'll uh, crack it. Gonna get up around that. But we're going through that valley over there. So not so bad. But uh, yeah, this is beautiful, the Langdow Pikes. We're looking at the sort of rough end of Thorn Crag here. Stickle, pike a stickle over the back. And uh, that's this way, Chrissy, mate. And then um, over to Stakes Pass. Fantastic. Just got to nip back into old Dungeon Guild to get started from the campsite. But as you can see, another glorious day. Dave. He's looking yep. fit and rearing the guy. <laughs> Morning, folks. Yeah. And if you're at home, Robbie, watching this, it's going to be a great day, mate. Yeah. We're missing you. <laughs> missing you big time, as it happens. But uh, we'll, yeah. We'll get that round. We'll get you round, money, when we get back. All right. <laughs> Yeah, he owes us a few bites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, we'll see you out there. Onwards. Despite having only one pub on this leg and having to go off route to get to it, we were really looking forward to this 12 mile leg because we were walking through two valleys that we had previously only seen from the fell tops above, namely Mickledon and Langstroth. This leg would take us from Greater Langdale to Grange and Hollows Farm campsite. So waving farewell to the lovely Claire in the support van at Langdale, we rejoined the path. Turning west, we followed the route into the valley with its virtually dry Mickledon Beck. We then ascended over Stake Pass, reaching a height of around 1600 feet, 487 metres, descending after a break into the glorious Langstraw Valley, which took us into the picturesque Borrowdale. At Stonethwaite, we had to briefly go off route to pop into the Langstraw Inn for a few dark hours purely for medicinal purposes. Rejuvenated with David often walking sideways, we returned to the path and continued on into Rosswaite, crossing the River Derwent over Newbridge and then we bimbled on under the gaze of Castle Craig to our campsite at Hollows Farm in Grange. With a surprise or two and a beautiful view, the good news is you're coming along too. Enjoy! Day. Look at this. Lucky with the weather. As I may have already said, it rained on the tents, but it didn't bother us at all. We was all nice and snug. And that's the benefit of the van. Thanks to Claire, just chuck all the stuff in the van. Away we go. Look at this. Ah. 
trouble is at some point I've got to go back to South End on Sea. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> is all I'll say to that. It was really nice to meet Denise and Nick Holmes yesterday in the pub. Even though I let them down on the timings, they would hung on for us, which was very nice of them. Thank you, Nick and Denise. When we get to Grange, we're going to be joined by Derek and Mary Ashbridge on our leg into Keswick. So essentially, we're off to meet them now. Wonderful. Nice of the team to support us along the route. Onwards. Hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. Said, hey, honey, take a walk on the wild side. Having never done this bit, I have to say, very impressive. Pike a stick all off Craig, and a fantastic scramble up to that. Looking forward to having a crack at that sometime. And look at this beautiful valley. Heading towards Stake Pass. Looks really superb. Really is lovely. Open space. Lovely beck running alongside various tributaries. Crinkle crags and Parker Blisco and there's Bowfell. Oh, it's just superb. This particular fat boy is very happy. I love it when a plan comes together. The cold conditions at night and the lack of facilities had made the camping experience, for some, very difficult. That coupled with losing Rob to injury early on had really hit the morale of the team quite badly. However, the camping experience was excellent at Great Langdale following yesterday's awesome walk into Dungeon Gill and the weather was still as good as it gets and now we were greeted with this amazing vista to bring further spring into our steps and broad smiles on our faces. The months of hard work organising this trip were starting to bear fruit at last and the vision I had was becoming a reality. I felt a weight had lifted from my shoulders and I was starting to relax. This is uh, come off the level, and now we're on our way up to. Stake Pass and as you can see another absolute cracking day beautiful quite a steep one This is a bit steeper, David, isn't it? Right. A bit steeper. Yeah, it's not steep enough. <laughs> Still on Stakes Pass, we're getting near to it anyway. And uh, looking back at Crinkle Crags, Bowfell, Dave and Chris will soon be coming over the horizon. Our friends, the German couple, are bashing on up to the top of Stakes Pass.
Well, just had a very nice break at the top of Steak Pass. Very nice it was too. And uh, yeah, what do you reckon on the view, break? Oh, absolutely fantastic. What can I say? I'm lost for words, actually. You're lost for words. Lost for words. David, it's pretty poor that that view, isn't it, that we're looking at? Mellifluous! Mellifluous. <laughs> well, let's see what's mellifluous, shall we? Yeah. Let's have a look. There you go. Sun is shining. Not a bad place to have a break. And have a kick at. <laughs> oh, we just enjoyed a, a nice half hour's break looking at that. Watching a few people go up and watching a few people go down. And there is Glaramara and Alan Craig's just over the, the back. Uh, one of David's favourite ridge walks because he said no quote 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 way is that a ridge walk. That was horrible. To Bessie Boot, Ross Fate fell Bessie Boot. We're on our way down to Stowthwaite now and the Langsgraf Inn where apparently, according to Chris Blake, there's a couple of pints each with our name on it. As you can see, the spirits are f very, very high indeed. Everyone's very happy. Everyone's very happy. <laughs> Come on, David, keep up. There's a good lad. <laughs> yeah, spirits are very much more lifted now. I think it's fair to say Chris is in a very good mood. I think the expression is, what a difference a day makes. Eagle Craig and the lovely waterfall we saw when we did it. A little bit drier today, <laughs> but still spectacular.
was now time to go off route and there was a certain speed in our pace as we knew there were a few pints of Wainwright's Golden Ale with our names on them. There is always time to take in a bit of history of course and Stonethwaite's was very interesting indeed but there was one sign in particular that I was looking forward to seeing. Fully revitalised, we bimbled into Rossway to cross the River Durban and head to our next camp. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Make sure you look out for the other six in the series, showing all the legs all the way to Carlisle. Please check out the other videos on our YouTube website, all 214 Wainwrights captured in video, as well as the outlying fells and various other walks. As always, hopefully one day, we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching. Cheers.